a lot going on professionally and personally. So the two major things I'd say that we have, one personally, we have to go pick up Kat's registration stuff uh, for her 5K at uh, the Lake Stevens Visitor Information Center. And then we have a photo shoot and video shoot today also for new listings. Hey, you ready to go get your stuff and do this? Yeah. Morgan and I are gonna come in with you. Does she have her shoes on? Hi. Good. 5K. Let's ask and see if there's any extra t shirts, too. I'm proud of you, honey. What for? For this race, for running, for doing it. Yeah, thank you. I wish I was doing it with you. I know, I wish that too. Never ran a 5K by myself. Yeah. I'm even more inspired by you that you're doing it on your own. You've been doing all this training on your own, and now you're going to run it on your own. Mm -hmm. That's even more inspiring. Thank you. Blah, blah. Yeah. May I have one? Yeah. That's a nice looking shirt. I hope I get one. Look at that. Where's our logo at? It's right at the top. I mean, near the top. Let me see it. Make sure it shows up in the camera. Oh, uh, yeah. Personalgroup.com. <laughs> Running in real estate. That's what we do. Uh, Persinger Group. I think you're right, though. If you have a Persinger Group page and then you switch productivity junkies to like Darren Persinger page, now you have Persinger Group profile and page all there. That's yeah, weird. it's a lot of Darrens. Uh, yeah, triple Darren. It's one of those things that sucks when it's out there and you're not using it. I mean, I've got one that I um, built years ago called. All the calls to action in the book are for my page. I drive people to my page to write on the wall. I tell people to connect mm. with me on my page. I don't even mention the conversion code book page. Yeah, if anything, I would go to a personal brand. I'm just not sure why I need it, though. You're a person or a coach. You're like kind of like a retired coach or something, right? Yeah, um, like Shula. I'm like Don Shula. I'm like Mike Jimmy Ditka. Yeah. I'm like Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, I'm like Jimmy Johnson and Mike Ditka and Don Shula. Just old and... Yeah, and like uh, Bill Coward. Yeah. Like they haven't coached in forever and they're still known. Great coaches. Well, I mean I probably just do um let, let me make one argument for turning it into a page like a personal brand page like mine. Because Well man, that's what I like about Instagram is you just slap on some um hot hashtags and boom, you, you got a whole new audience there. 
So, gotta figure that out, dude. Well, you know what I, I would uh, think would be interesting is doing the exact same thing here. I, I've been trying to do a lot more stuff on Instagram lately. And what I've kind of seen is the same names that aren't following me will like it because of a hashtag situation. Uh -huh. And then it feels like after two, three, four likes, I earn the follow. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You're saying... Well, I just requested the uh, change to Darren Persinger. There you go, dude. Because what, I mean, if it doesn't, if I po post some stuff and it doesn't do anything, then I can always blow it up later. Sure. Well, that's my thought. Like, when I see the kind of stuff you're sharing, you know, when you put as much work and time and effort as you're putting in, it is nice to kind of reap the benefits of that and, and get it in front of an audience as, as, as big as possible. So, like, Well, yeah, but why, though, Gary? Look how much time and effort it is for that, you. That's the thing. It's the time and the effort. And look how hard it is to be good and interesting. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I get, no, and, and I guess that's what I'm kind of realizing is like, that's why no one talks about it because no one's really doing it. Like, you and Jimmy probably have more back end data on what it takes to hold someone's attention than anyone else in the real estate space right now. It, like, the closest thing to it is how to get referrals. Like, it's still how to get something instead of yeah. how to give something. Yeah, it's like. video shoot in Lake Stevens now for a new listing coming on the market very soon. Catherine and Morgan are already there meeting the photographer. Uh, I just need to load up my gear and there's one piece I was looking for. It's in there. One of the tripods. En route to this home that we're doing the photo shoot and video shoot on today. It's only like one and a half miles away from our house, which I really like. That allows us to stay efficient and keep things moving instead of having uh, road time. Continue on Washington 9 South for three quarters of a mile. Hello? Hey, I'm just calling you back. I would have sooner, but I was assuming that you were calling me back. I was calling you back, and then I got your text message, so then I assumed I didn't have to call you back. Right. All right. I'm just, I'm just over. Turn left onto 30. Are you close? I'm close. I'll be right there. So you should probably park. So I'm not super creative on things. So I basically shoot the, the video the way I'm going to edit the video. Uh, front of the house, inside the house, outside the house. Pretty much finished with the video shoot of this. Still have a couple time lapses rolling out there. So the way that I look at shooting video for uh, a home or whether it's for the daily vlog or whatever, to me it's the same as any type of story. You have a beginning, a middle, and an end. What I'm looking at in a real estate video is what is the beginning, the middle, and an end. And that's why I said earlier, it's the front of the home, and then the inside of the home, and then the exterior. Um, and then I look for one thing that 
is special or unique about that home that I try to latch onto. For this home, uh, when I release the video, you'll see it's the yard. This home has an amazing, giant, huge yard for this area. And I think the secret to shooting real estate videos, you just shoot as much as possible and then it's all in the edit. It's always, it's always all in the edit. What I mean is it's all in the edit is the more video, the more footage I have, the better chance I have of getting something that I can work with inside the edit. What exactly is a Leon Burkle? They have St. Bernard and Lancier, Newfoundland in their heritage. I don't know if I've ever seen or even heard of a dog like that. What's his name? Barra. Well, kind of like a bear? Kind of. <laughs> it's Barrager, actually. Okay. You are a big dog. He says, and I like people. You are a big dog. My dog would be a snack for you. Mm -hmm. that look like the lion on the city gate okay so we know officially that there's st bernard's and lance here newfoundland's in their lanes don't look his lens that would be good <laughs> and there was a pyrenees mountain dog which is mm -hmm. not a great pyrenees but a slightly different dog and other undisclosed large german dogs mm. and hence his unusual name mm -hmm. leon burger but that's from the city? It's from the, the city, city of Leonberg, Germany. Okay. Yes. And you're a you're, big dog. And you're a fine companion dog, aren't you? What are you doing? Okay. Right, right. Okay, well, I'm done with uh, my project, so I'm going to come in. Hey, did you record the Badger game for me? Yeah. You did? You're right. Awesome. I'm going to watch it then, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Gonna...